boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Dom Machi more Freeze on tap today. We got a few things to cover, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the Steamy Scheme event has closed. So if you want to, uh, if you still have some items to exchange on that, you can find it in the event exchange, and you'll see it right here. It's going to be up for another four days, so it'll clear next week, um, next Tuesday. Um, so uh, go ahead and make sure that you clear everything out in here. Use all of the, you know, use all the items that you got. Purchase whatever you need to. Um, you can get Valus, you know, you can get, you can just max out everything. Um, just make sure that everything is set at zero. Uh, so, okay, so everything's zeroed out. Make sure you use all your gotchas. Uh, you have to have a minimum of 10, so I can't do that because you can get the three star tickets from that. So that's going to be up for another four days. Now, the new event that just came up is the Xenos' Valentine event. All right, so this this is uh, your standard Valentine's Day Chocolates in the Dungeon event. Okay, this year they're using the Xenos as the new, Xenos is the new, quote, faction inside of Dalmach. If you watch season three, you should be familiar with them. So it's about giving chocolates in a dungeon. Turns into a hilarious event. It's very funny. So definitely go ahead and produce it on that. Uh, the, uh, it goes up to 26. There will be, this is going to be running until 10 days after Valentine's Day. So the second part's not going to be coming out until at uh, around Valentine's Day. That's when they'll have the second part uh, of this. So you can see a little bit more inside of the actual event. Okay, exchange is good. You got your standard, uh, you know, hero medals, flame and Let's get everything that's numbered, of course. Just keep running it, running it, running it. Get to very hard. Last boss battle, just keep running it over and over and over to get all the events. They're having a little bit different inside of the gotcha. Inside of this, they've got these wings chocolates. Uh, I think the first one I got, it took like 30, uh, 30 pools. Um, and I was able, uh, so it was three pools of 10. But um, uh, it took about, th so um, to get the wing chocolates. The wing chocolates are then uh, inter-exchangeable from within the mission tab under the time limited. Now you'll see wings chocolates here. You definitely want to focus on this because you get some really good rewards. 50 wing chocolates, you can start getting four star tickets, extension bonus, and uh, a nice little hunks of iris here. So you definitely want to focus on doing that. So basically you just run the event over and over. While you're doing that for the exchange, you're getting tries within the gotcha. So it's all linked, nothing special that you have to do. Just, to re just you know, make sure that if you don't focus on the uh, the gotcha normally that you do focus on at this time because you can get some extra rewards for that. All right, so that event is up until the 24th. The other event uh, is currently the, of course, the Werewolf Comes event. It's going to be up for four more days. Make sure that you've got that in exchange uh, and get everything that you got in there. Now, back in the Xenos uh, Valentine, the reward is a four-star limit break golden sweetie race. So if you'd run this, if you complete very hard, and complete it all the way through, you will have enough to fully limit break. See, they're keeping you giving the bonds all the way through. You'll be able to fully limit break her. Now again, it's a free to play character. And as I said before, free to play, free -to -play characters aren't quite as good as the gotcha pool characters, but they're not bad, okay? So using those, if you're just starting out is excellent. So this would be a good way to get your hands on a free character uh, that you can fully limit break if you're just starting out with the game. And you use those characters to get a lot of iris and you can do gotcha pools. All right, so that uh, heroic trial is still up. Going to be up until next Tuesday. When this, uh, those two will clear at the same time. And we'll have just that event. The The seventh zone is still under construction. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Um, so hopefully that will get cleared out so we can run some limit breaks. Because that's uh, uh, upsetting a little bit because you want to get those materials. It's the first time I've actually seen that occur. Uh, but it's uh, everything else is working fine. So that's the only thing that seems to be acting up at the moment all right so uh let's take a look the arena record buster is up um light and thunder is what you need for this so make sure that you do it five times a day just because you get the rewards all right so let's jump on over into the gotcha so we've got the xenos valentine gotcha so this is a chance to get some valentine's day characters um we got a uh, first valentine's day ween up here which is i thought was interesting now these characters um both Ween and uh, Anya Frommel are actually, uh, Ween is actually light. So she is a light, and it's got a, uh, it's got a, a damage 50 buffs, so you're good on that. Um, and she's Thunder, 
and thunder, she's got uh, um, penetration rate increase. So these are good, uh, keeping with the, you know, the record buster theme of light and thunder, that's what these characters are, okay? Uh, got a, um, an interesting little, um, down here, this would be for a thunder team, this would be excellent, okay? Because you, uh, if you're going up against the thunder team because you have a thunder resist negative 10%, so if you've got a thunder team, um, it's going to reduce any resistance they have it by 10%, so you're going to hit harder. Plus the damage received, uh, all in singles, ne negative 7%, or max of 15 and 20. So that's not a bad, this is not a bad situational, um, but a, an assist that would be good for a, a thunder team. Okay, and then we've got the secondary pool. Uh, we've got another Harahime, as always, of course. They want to make as many Harahimes as they can. This is actually an assist. Um, we got uh, Lily and the Clo up. Now Lily is a light and of course as keeping with the thing Clo is thunder. So again keeping with the record buster theme. So if you're lacking if you're lacking a team for that there's some characters you might want to consider pulling on. Uh, the assist uh, for Arahime is uh, endurance uh, neg 30% and magic resist neg 20%. This is not bad. Not a bad um, not a bad assist at all. Endurance is a direct effect to uh, uh, to how many uh, you know their endurance. That's going to cut down your hit points. So you definitely might want to consider that if you're lacking uh, in the assist columns. Uh, then after that, we've just got the singular pools for paid iris, as always, uh, for all the characters. Um, and then we've got the uh, war game special gotcha. Now this is good. Now you got. Uh, uh, I can't. It, this, the Maverick Swordman Lee, this is an excellent, excellent attack. This this guy is just amazing. Okay, he's got that, you know, damage, fire attack damage, 16 to 80% on his, uh, he's just, he hits a ton, especially inside of Record Breaker. Um, and if you're going up against a team with him on it and that's fully powered up, it really does a serious amount of damage. So this might be a character that you want to try to go for. Um, so it's worth it, and that's why they've got him in War Game listed as war game because these are the characters that are, have a massive effect in the war game and they're going to be up until next tuesday i'm seriously considering giving it a try unfortunately i don't like the fact that they put two assists in there um i wish they would have had uh another uh a two adventures and one assist i'd have felt a little bit better so i'd be same thing um we've got uh this one's got two this has got um an asphy and a fiesta freeze bell okay so this one right here is of course um uh, Earth and light, so another light character. If you're having looking for the light team, and then we've got another as if we need another Hesty assist. Is the first thing I said. We've got literally like eight or nine of that. I think that's the most characters of anyone in the game is for Hestia under the assist column. It's just amazing. Um, at, but at, at you know, it's not bad. Damage received, attack type balance which is about 15 percent. Guard rate negative 25 and hours penetration rate critical rate 10 percent. Definitely a assist that you would want to consider for a record buster team uh, as it provides multiple types of buffs and debuffs for uh, for your team. So it, any way to progress. So definitely good characters and that's why they're listed under the war game. So if you go, if you do gotchas on these characters, um, you definitely want to make sure that you use them inside of uh, your war gaming team. Uh, and then of course, continuing with the actual um, werewolf comes uh, pools that were here, that have been up. Uh, and you will have those up until um, the third as well. So as you can see, a lot of stuff coming out. So there's uh, a bunch of new stuff. We've also uh, an anticipating the uh, arrival of the Sword Oratorio um, episodes. They will be coming pretty soon. Okay. So you'll be able to get that. So if you're not familiar with Sword Oratorio, Sword Oratorio is a sort of a spinoff of Don Machi, um, uh, focusing on, mainly focusing on A's. Um, so and Lafia, so that's why they're on the cover. So that episode is coming up. Of course, don't forget to continue uh, pumping through and clearing out all of these uh, episodes as best as you can. As you can see, um, I got to go back through and get some now that I have a much stronger team as when I went through them initially. Um, but yeah, so, so that you can do that. Um, they've got some special rewards up. If you, you hit this right here, you can see. I'm completing episode five, uh, so you'll probably have some of all, all of these already cleared. Um, they're giving away flame amulets and hero medals 
Um, and this is just basically uh, the, a mission list, a special mission that does not coincide with the other events. So most likely when you click on this the first time, you'll probably see the red exclamation point on this. So when you click on it, it's going to give you a bunch of stuff. Um, and this is what you get. So I've already cleared uh, a lot of this stuff. Um, so I've cleared up, up to, so right here's the uh, hero medal, as I was saying. So uh, I'm right up to, you know, getting close to clearing all these. But you can see they're giving you hero medals and flame ambulance. Then you're going to start getting some uh, uh, four-star tickets, 100 ona. So as you clear this stuff out and getting this stuff in Record Buster and stuff, this is very, 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 very good um, in terms of uh, rewards. So this is definitely something that you might want to look at, okay? Just because of the fact that, you know, they're giving some pretty, pretty good rewards. Uh, and this is the uh, adventure missions and stuff. Um, so, yeah, just go through it as much as you can um, and uh, get as much as you can and focus on it, okay? Uh, because it's uh, uh, some, got some really good rewards and it's new. So take a look at that. All right. So that's everything that's up for Don Machi. Um, so, you know, the, this event's going to be running out for the next couple of weeks. So there's probably not going to be much to go over. They'll probably have some draws and stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're looking for some Valentine's Day characters um, uh, in, in terms of the Xenos uh, uh, on the first part, you'll be able to get some of those. So if you do like the look, um, it might be something that you want to go for. Um, there's not, there isn't any type of sales or anything. It's your basic, you know, guaranteed four-star unit, one, four, seven, and ten. You can get um, uh, four stars on the other, uh, on the on the two, um, you know, the two, three, five, six, uh, eight, and nine. You can as well. Okay, I have uh, several times, so, but on one, four, seven, ten, you're guaranteed to get one of the characters. Unfortunately, you know, two of them are actually. But these these are pretty pretty good characters, okay. So you know if you're lacking in light and thunder, this is definitely where you want to go. And uh, you expect to see we'll probably see reruns for them uh, uh, as well. So it's not that type of uh, issue. That is uh, something to concern with. So you just get as many as you can, and then when it comes around, you get the rest of them and finish it up. That is all I got. Everything is running. So get in there and knock out that. Get those hair medals and flame amulets so that you can purchase the bonds to level up the good characters. All right. As we've said, the circle continues. Um, it's all based on how much you can focus on the event. Run the event as much as you can. Get to the very hard. I'm in hard right now. Get to very hard. And get to the last battle inside of very hard, which would be. Should be up here at 20. So it looks like it's going to be 23. So you want to get right here to very hard 123, and you just want to run this over and over and over and over again to get that because this is where you get the maximum amount of rewards. And don't forget to take inside of the exchange and get everything that's numbered. And don't forget to go into the gotcha and make these chocolates so you can get those ascension bonus and four star tickets. All right. So again, thanks a lot for watching the video. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Once you've subscribed, you'll see a bell. If you click on the bell, you'll be notified each time I drop a video. If you want to support the channel, you can like or share or hit the Patreon page, which will be listed in the description link below. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Kendra coming at you from the corner, signing out.